This tutorial focuses on transferring data between SketchUp and VizPro. We'll focus on source nodes that transfer data from SketchUp into Viz, and on sync nodes that transfer data from Viz back into SketchUp. We'll go through four examples, and each example uses one of the sample models provided by VizPro. Completed versions of all models in this tutorial, including their Viz nodes, can be found in the Tutorial subfolder of the Sample Models folder. In the first example, we'll focus on a boundary representation source, called in VizPro a BREP source. The BREP will be moved into a different position along the model's y-axis, then exported back into SketchUp. Open the SketchUp file called BREP source. A source node is needed first, so open the Viz window and choose Source BREP source. Then go back to SketchUp, select the chair, and click the Set Geometry Source icon. Choose the source node from the list and click OK. Now we can complete the rest of the nodes needed for the move. The Move node is part of the Transform category. Connect the BREPs from the source node to the geometry of the move node. Next, we need a vector node to provide the translation needed by the move node. Choose Vector, Vector for this node. The connection here is between the vector output and the translation of the move node. The move will be done along SketchUp's green or Y axis, and a slider makes the input easy. Choose Input Slider and connect the slider to the vector's Y value. Moving the slider moves the new chair instance along the Y axis. The last step is to transfer the move data back into SketchUp, which is done with a Shell Sync node. Connect the Shell export to the moved geometry. Then go back to SketchUp to see the new chair instance. For the second example, open the line source model. This model contains a group consisting of several straight lines and will have Viz fit a curve to the vertices of these lines. First, in Viz, choose Source Line Source. Then back in SketchUp, select the lines and select the source node. These lines are imported into Viz as a set of separate edges but we need to make them into a single polyline. This is done with a wire mode, part of the BREP category. Connect the line output to the wire edges. Now a node is needed to extract the vertices of the wire. The BREP components node breaks up a BREP into its parts. Connect the wire output to the BREP. Because the source geometry is comprised of separate lines, Approximation errors can cause duplicate vertices to be created. To fix this, we'll use a point node called Merge Points. Connect the BREP component output to the points to merge. The tolerance value can be changed to determine how close the merge vertices need to be. If you want to see the list of merge points, you could add a preview to the merge points output. The last operation is to create the curve that passes through the resulting merged vertices. Choose Curve, Interpolate Curve, and connect the merge points to the curve points. The output to send back into SketchUp is a line sync. Connect the interpolated curve to Curves to Export. Return to SketchUp to see the new curves. It's easier to see these results by moving the curve group a bit. If you now move any of the lines, the curves update on the fly. Remember that we started with a group of lines, and the resulting curve follows the same basic order of vertices. If the lines were ungrouped, 
viz would still create a curve, but the order of vertices would be different, not necessarily following the original order. For the third example, open the model called Instance. This time we're going to use geometry references, or GREFs, to distribute a tree component in the scene. GREFs work in a similar way to components in SketchUp. They create a lightweight copy of the original rather than another set of complete geometry. GREFs are easy and efficient to manipulate even when the original component has a high polygon count. In Viz, add a GREF source node, and in SketchUp, Choose the tree and set its source. Add a move node connecting the GREF to the geometry to transform. The move needs a vector node whose output will determine the move's translation. To make the tree distribution random, we need two random nodes, one for the x direction and one for y. For the first random node, Choose Sequence Random and connect its output to the vector's x. Then create another one connected to the vector's y. Connect the number of random elements to one another so that their values will be the same. Add a slider so that n can be easily controlled. For both random nodes, Set the domain at 0 to 50. This means that in both directions, the translation will be a random value between 0 and 50. Then slightly change the seed value of either random node so that the sequence along x and y directions will be different. The slider controls the number of trees, set between 2 and 100. Move the number slider to see the tree instances increase and decrease. If you add a preview for the vectors, the number of vectors should match the number on the slider. Finally, add a GREF sync and connect it to the move output. Return to SketchUp to see the random distribution of trees. For the last example, open the area model, which contains a simple grouped house. This time we'll import geometry into Viz, compute the area of each face, and export that information back into SketchUp as leader text. We need face geometry as input, so in Viz, create a BREP source, then set the house as that source. Add a BREF components node to extract the faces of the imported geometry. Area calculation works on faces, so define the component type as a face. Choose Analysis Shape Area and connect the components to area geometry. A preview of area should show the total number of faces in the source geometry. Each face also needs a center marker to determine the placement of the leader text. Choose Analysis Center and connect BREP component to center geometry. A preview of center points should show the number of center points matching the number of faces. The export back into SketchUp is a text sync. Connect the area output to the text output and the center output to the text placement. Back in SketchUp, each face has its area listed. If you change a face, its area and leader placement update accordingly. In addition to the four types of sources and sinks demonstrated in this tutorial, there are other types of data that can be transferred between Viz and SketchUp, such as materials. Some of these types of data will be covered in later tutorials.